Okay, so I was supposed to like uh, do this for like a video yesterday, but uh, some edits uh, happened and uh, video uh, it was like the camera was a uh, 180 degrees flipped. So if when I was a ca facing the camera, the camera was, camera was looking in uh, the direction I was facing straight. So. They were just looking at the ground instead, so, yeah. So, I want to, like, uh, talk about, like, some concerns I have with, uh, people, what's going on, so, well, so, there's, I'm not going to hold it against people who are, like, meeting up with other people, but, uh, but if people are like uh, going to places that are, like say like maybe the lake maybe maybe like you know or uh, many other places with their friends or family members that they don't live with or maybe it's their boyfriend or, or girlfriend or maybe someone maybe even just someone they know so but if they go there and they're very close to somebody that they don't know and like it's, and, and they are unprotected with a mask they don't they're not wearing a mask or that person is not wearing a mask so yeah and then you are in a close distance like like within a, like two meters or six feet radius Distance, uh, yeah. You see what my problem? What the problem is? So the problem is people are acting ignorant still about coronavirus is still active. It's not something something that's had that that gone away last month. It's it hasn't. But with uh, Black Lives Matter and uh, LGBT uh, protests going on, level the corona, the high chance of a coronavirus has uh, slowly has been increasing and has uh, even to this day it's going higher. Don't say I'm lying, but uh, uh, there's some people are like uh, acting blind to it, and uh, so I've been to the Balch Road uh, Park many, many times. I passed there, and then there's people with their dogs, and uh, part. And there are, there are the rules and regulations uh, saying that at all parks that you should stay two meters away from people. And people are not doing that. When they should be. I've seen the like, crowds of people together and they are not doing they are not practicing social distancing. There are people who are like uh, doing protests and they are not wearing masks. Which disgusts me. So what happened, what's the, what's the difference is like, I've uh, gone to like a uh, Toronto a few times already, like three times now. And ever since coronavirus started, either for like just shopping for my my parents' store or just buying buying groceries and such that uh, and uh, international stuff that you can't buy uh, in local areas, and uh, and even though I've been pushed by like some people, like mostly. Thing, like why don't why you can't why can't you just buy uh, buy stuff locally and um, 
well, like, I, if I if I need to buy something that's not from him, that that isn't like sold here, I can't do that. And they have like a low quantity of it, or they just don't sell it here, and it's more like, yeah, I have to go out to the big cities to the 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 buy one, buy them. So yeah. So I have gone to Toronto. several times and uh, in the supermarket I've gone to like uh, they require all staff and uh, customers to wear masks and yeah sanitize sanitizing your hands is st still an important thing that they expect you to do even though they might not provide you with it and uh, mm. What one I don't like is like uh, it's like the like businesses like some businesses are like uh, they only have a staff wearing masks or and they don't expect and they don't have uh, customers uh, to wear masks as a requirement and uh, yeah. So not many, so see some people are being lazy with uh, hand, hand sanitizing and that is a necessity. If you if you if there's not not a, like a sink nearby to wash your hands at. Oh by the way, uh, so the the other day I uh, I had to tell uh, like a uh, three young girls uh, that the washroom was closed because. All public washrooms are like closed right now, and people are like uh, trying to find washrooms to go to. And no, you cannot use their private private business uh, washrooms unless if it is actually approved by the health unit. And businesses uh, still won't let you in, so places like Walmart won't let you, Metro won't let you, Mexico won't probably won't let you, so they won't let you. Unless if it actually says washrooms are available by that business. So check customer services before just walking and trying to break into a like a washroom or something, but no. Yeah, you shouldn't. So I know like people are like complaining about masks still, even though they did that last month and the last month. But I never had to deal with that because I, I stayed home during March because I was just busy at home doing work. So there was uh, no reason for me to go outside, but yeah, now I'm uh, outside, so I wear my masks. In the last video, I showed you guys uh, what kind of masks I wear. So, now there have been people who explain, make giving excuses still that free country, I don't have to. And this is from com countries like US and Canada and I and we are like disgusted by like the behavior of people and they want people to like open up businesses open up the beach and and they want like there there have been like so many complaint comments on uh, Facebook and Instagram and some on tw Twitter that oh it just it annoys it annoys me it annoys people. There are like thousands of people who are like this, 
disagreeing with me and people who are acting like that to the, for the safety of others. And we are like saying, you know, there's, there's, gonna, there's gotta be risks that you have to take and then you just gotta wait it out and then, you know, not, it's not always about you and yeah. So beaches aren't, uh, yeah. Not uh, open in uh, many places and uh, won't be until end of August. So no more like beach pod stuff unless you've got a pool. And most of these comments are coming from uh, girls and uh, women. And but you know it's got a risk. It's a risk we need to take. And uh, there are people who are sort of inconsiderate of others. So with the mask excuse. So there have been there have been like people who like with me, you know. Well, one the well the thing is there is a person there are a couple of people who have asthma, and they are still wearing masks for the good of others. So don't try to use the they got asthma excuse. Try to win an argument, because there are people who are like who have asthma and they are wearing masks. Can't beat that. Oh, secondly, oh, of course, uh, and uh, people are like uh, going to places. Uh, so you shouldn't be like going to places with their people if you if you don't live with them. And if you are, you should first wear a mask. Second, wash your hands. Third, keep a safe distance from other people because you know. You never know if someone has a coronavirus or not. Because viruses can stay on surfaces and they can like float through air and our viruses have no borders. So they are all over the world right now and right now US and Canada are like hot spots. So if you're like acting selfish and uh, you think it's it's not mandatory, well, you know what to say. One person could ruin it for everybody else. Uh, say for some reason maybe someone got the common cold and it starts spreading to another person. And another person, and another person, and another person, and another person, and everyone keeps getting infected because no one, no one's like wearing a wearing a mask, not not taking class, like cough medicine or like you know, not going to the doctor to get get checked, and yeah. <laughs> And I have seen so many, so many, so many, so many posts on Instagram and Facebook of people going to places where they shouldn't be going to right now for the safety of others. So unless if it, if this is like a private place, like maybe let's say it's like your like personal cottage and it's only you. Your, or your family members can go there and uh, no one else can. Okay, but still, you better, you know, 
Safety first. Wear a mask. Social distancing. Wash your hands. Sanitize your hands. Don't forget that. Because uh, because of the people who are acting so irresponsible right now, and only think uh, people who, frontline workers, other people working in a retail, retail or like food services, or medical or emergency services, they only wear need to wear masks. Yeah, you're wrong. So I give them the, giving you a link, uh, guys, a description on where you can get masks. So you can buy them from a local shop. You can order them online. There are like a uh, mask uh, that you can uh, reuse. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't consider doing that because so so if you're a person who goes out out a lot or like works. So, buy like a little one of those good quality masks and like, so use them for like at least, you know, two to three weeks and then ex switch it with another mask. And if it's like a good quality mask, uh, you can uh, use it longer, but, uh, but uh, in case. So you can uh, get these masks uh, from a local store, online, and it'll be shipped to you by uh, whatever uh, services uh, the mask company uh, uses. Uh. So masks are like are currently being, being made in China. USA, South Korea, Canada, and many other countries. Best quality masks come from uh, <laughs> South Korea, but ah, eh, you uh, unfortunately you can't get them because of uh, government rules. The most popular masks that you can get, get are like uh, the branded ones, but uh, you can uh, just get, get like a plain uh, white one, a black one, or sort of like a colored one, not like a rainbow color, mixed rainbow colored one, but you know, a whole bunch of colors, but you know, just you know, any different, any color one. There are instructional videos on uh, how you can make masks, you know. Mm -hmm. So, all you need to do is, you know, as explained in my last video, make sure it covers, you cover this area, this area, this area, and this area. Because that is when, because if, even if you have a mask on and you still breathe, you know, and if you don't put it on properly, viruses and the back harmful bacteria can uh, still come in. So avoid uh, going out with uh, people right now. No matter if they're your family, someone you're dating, in a relationship with, or if you know them. But this this is still a dangerous time, and uh, you sh you should still be uh, cautious because coronavirus uh, numbers have uh, still increased in the USA again. So and uh, Asian countries such as Taiwan, South Korea, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, and more. 
have already went to are going through wave two of coronavirus, and yeah, and everyone's wearing masks for safety there. Everybody. No. One, 100% of people are all wearing masks, not zero per, not like a certain number of people. So, yeah. When shopping, or, you know, if you need to like, you know, if you're shopping for somebody, you know, make sure, stay safe, wear a mask, sanitize your hands, wash your hands. And keep a safe distance distance from anyone who could possibly have coronavirus. Or basically anybody. You never know.